Starting, and I believe we are live, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Welcome to a very special presentation from the Radulich and Broadcasting Network. That's right, everybody. We are here presenting a much requested, much ballyhooed uh, piece of content. Uh, the Radulich and Broadcasting Network of family and friends have been asking, begging, pleading, cajoling. They've even mentioned it once or twice. Why don't we do audio commentaries for movies? And I put it off because, God darn it, I've, I've had way too much to do and way too much on our plate. We have scheduled the Radulich and Broadcasting Network schedule till the year 2025 every day. We, every day we got content. But you know what? There's always room for more. Like Anthrax once said, there's always room for one more. So, tonight, this being Transformers Week, it's all things Transformers on the Rattled and Broadcasting Network, we are going to do our very first, very, very first audio movie commentary. That's right. Tonight, on the Rattled and Broadcasting Network, it is the Source Material Gang and my daughter, Lily. Say hi, Lily. We are going to watch Trans... And that's my, my monster of the sun, Jonas. <laughs> we are going to watch and commentate over dun, 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 Transformers the movie. No, not my, any of the Michael Bay schlock. The real one. The good one. This is the 1986, I believe, ver, uh, cartoon animated Transformers the movie, otherwise known as the Cynical Toy Restart. I don't say that, but that's what it's called. Uh, you know, the one that said F your childhood and blew away everybody that was in the previous cartoon. So I don't want to talk toys. about it. <laughs> We're going to get there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring on my co-hostess, Mr. Mostis, uh, the disapproving dad himself, to do, the, to do further introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, the host of Source Material in his own right, Mr. Jesse Starcher. How do you do, sir? Oh, man, I'm excited. It's been 30 years since I've seen this movie all the way through, and I can't wait cannot wait this thing I, last night i got this hankering i was like we got to be able to maybe i'd love to watch it with the rest of my radlich and broadcasting network red one i'm gonna take blah, blah, blah. i'm gonna get me a zima i don't know what's going on around here um <laughs> <laughs> no we when we did our show on transformer which is going to air i'm sure before this but when we did our uh, when we did revolution i mentioned about how i had not had the opportunity to see this movie for, you know, it's been close to 30 years since I saw it in theaters all the way through. Now, I've started it and stopped it. And, uh, you know, I haven't really gone through and finished it. So that's a crime. We, we are going to do this tonight. We are going to try our best to do a commentary. We synced up all of our movies so we can watch it all together and kind of, uh, you know, you know, commentate. Just makes make some fun. We're just going to have some fun banter here. And. On the podcast, additionally to me and Mark, we have one Screaming Boy podcast host, and his name is Ronnie Adams. Are you are you ready to watch this thing? I mean, has it been that long? You had to go find the DVD. You didn't know where the heck it was. You didn't even know if you had it. Well, that's because I moved. Oh, okay. Oh, that's true. You did. It, it stays in a place of honor in my house. I'm not like you, Starcher. <laughs> 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 hey, you should see all the bands here in the basement that have not been uncrated since I moved into this house. Legitimately, oh, dude. Brother, I, I've, <laughs> I got to clean out my garage, and when I do, I could probably make a million dollars of the crap I'm going to sell. I hear you. I hear you. Uh, and the invisible one himself, the guy I know I could bring on here to at least drop some knowledge, throw some trivia our way in regards to Transformers. His name is is justin thomas sir are you ready to watch this you were one of the first people i thought of when i came when i thought man we watch transformers the movie i know justin thomas would be in you ready man oh yeah man i'm a big fan of transformers awesome got, awesome. got, my, got my movie right here which i last watched during uh larry nemo's passing that was the last time i watched oh, it actually. wow yeah that's right he's uh he's the voice of is it unicron Galatron. Galatron, man. I cannot wait to start this movie. <laughs> Can I say before we start this that after last night's discussion of Revolution, <laughs> I immediately added to my Amazon wish list volumes one and two of All Hail Megatron and Maximum Dinobots. Oh, nice. wow. Awesome. 
Awesome. That sounds good. You have to let us know how that goes. I will probably do a show on it. All right. <laughs> that I could probably – if it's in his library, be prepared. It's going to be on source material and on the Radlich and Broadcasting Network at some time. So, gentlemen, let's get this party started. Uh, Mar- Mark, I'm going to allow you the, the honors to count us down. And everybody – is everybody queued up once again? We got yeah. Sunboat. We need, to, we need to let our people know where we're at. I know – this is audio. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are at the Sunbow Productions, Marvel Productions yeah, screen. It's about, it's a, it's 16 a, it's, seconds in. Counter up. It's about 37 to 38 seconds uh, into the start of the movie here. Or not. I'm five seconds in, man. <laughs> on my copy. Um, God right, in heaven. So just look- we are, yeah, we're at the Sunbow Productions, Marvel Productions logo. If you're following along, uh, watching it as you listen to our commentary, I'm counting us down from five. It's going to be five, four, three, two, one. We'll be silent and then start your engines. Here we go. Let's stretch. Get out your, get out your giggles. Get out your sillies. And five, four, sillies. three, two. All right. Marvel Productions, huh? Yes. So they were, they were, I didn't have any idea that they were part of this. Oh, well, like I said, um, Mar- Transformers used to be a Marvel IP. They used to put what? it in a comic book. I've always wondered, uh, as, as we see this giant planet with horns, and we all know who that is, what is he coming around? Is that a sun? Or is, I mean, because obviously he's going to a planet. Yep, I'm going to assume then. I, I have no clue, dude. I, all I know is when I was a kid. Well, this I had, has already gone to pot. <laughs> what, expect us to come in here with a lot of information? I mean, I can go to the wiki like we usually do. Well, no, 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 no. It needs to be like Neil Tyson Degrassi, but solar systems revolve around suns. So, yes. <laughs> <laughs> <That's>, uh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I. Uh, uh, wait, wait. Oh, they uh, oh no, it's, uh, it's Galvatron. Never a good day when your <laughs> liquids fall over. Yeah. Oh, uh, although it's it's Galactus, snowing unicorn. A, dude, I was just playing with it earlier today, and I was like, oh, crap, that is so Galactus. All right, let me ask, well, I mean, the, let me ask the six-year-old. So, Lily, here we see Unicron tearing into this. Um, nondescript planet of robots that isn't Cybertron. What are, what are some of your thoughts here as you watch this? Make sure to talk loudly from the diaphragm. Let's go. Um, I see that people are running away from it. As a viewer, as a, as a young viewer, is this scary to you? Is this intense? Do you not care? What, what, are, you, what are you thinking about? I'm just a little nervous. You're a little nervous? Mm. Yeah, I would. Of all the little pieces going into that thing, it's kind of scary. Okay, it is a little scary. It's a little intense. Mm-hmm. It's a weird. I'm a little scared too, Lily. You know, especially, um, especially I think this right here, I, Rain. <laughs> I, I think Lily brings up a good point. Remember, this is an animated feature for children, and <laughs> they start off with high high scale genocide. <laughs> yeah, Dude. hey, how? How do we get the eight-year-olds involved in this? <laughs> Destroy a planet. <laughs> Watch I mean, everyone run screaming and dying. I mean, maybe maybe the core audience was a little older than six, but still, I don't know. I don't know if uh, I don't know if even seven or eight-year-olds are just like here. Have I told you about the Holocaust yet? Because here's the <laughs> robot Holocaust. So <laughs> I was about eight years old when this came out. How pumped! How pumped were you when you heard this new version of, oh, of the? Dude. Oh man! So this it, is not, if, it, I'm, if I'm right, it's not, this is 1986 when this comes yeah. out, which makes me 11. Eric Idle, man, there he is, Monty not Python, Billing. Redgar. Uh, Redgar was one of the coolest. Yeah, Judd Nelson, that's hot rod. <laughs> so I, I don't, I, I don't think I had actually moved to the white neighborhood yet boy. when when this came out. But even as a white kid who listened to only rap music, I was still digging <laughs> this. This was awesome. Robert Stack. I forgot Bruce. how many good. I mean, like Robert Stack. <laughs> Cuff, Boo! Cuff. Cuff is Boo! Cuff. Final standard. <laughs> Orson <laughs> Welles is Unicron. How this was his last movie performance. Orson Welles. Yeah. No kidding. Um, 
Yeah, no kidding. How do you go from Rosebud? Oh man, you know, the, the, micro, Kane, the, to... the micro machine guy. That's it, how do you? That's where I recognize that voice from. It, yeah, they yeah, blur, yeah. Kept John Machida Jr. around for the car to, for the series when this was over. Yeah, but I guess yeah, you know, yeah. You're, you're a voice actor. You got to get you got to get work somewhere. It's like uh, Peter Cullen. Laser beak. Yeah. Laser beak. Thank yes, you. The, the most successful Decepticon in the army, as we're about to be told. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, he, he just he's a spy. He doesn't really do anything. Just he sits goes up here and, and looks at stuff. He looks at stuff and comes back. He never gets shot. He <laughs> never really shoots anyone. And, but, you know, he always comes back from the battle, and they're like, oh, I you did a good job. I remember, like, as, as a cart- uh, watching this as a kid, the car- you know, like the regular cartoon, and I always get pissed that the Decepticons were like, always one step ahead of the that- Autobots because of Laserbeak. Here comes I my favorite. They- my But Pram! <laughs> <laughs> my favorite line, but Pram. <laughs> yes, that from, dude. <laughs> that tough whining that he does. So, so in the new cartoon, I know this is we're talking old stuff here, but in the new cartoon, you guys are getting ready to review. Is there like an an Amazon Prime in there? <laughs> somebody, somebody, <laughs> get to listen to that. Oh, High five. <laughs> Catman, Scru- Catman Scrollers. Yeah. Yeah, Play but I'll pit. tell you, the Rock. Put, yeah, the, 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 the Rock is a short. The Rock has a short-lived performance in the opening episode of Transformers Prime as Cliff Jumper. <laughs> nice. Oh man, that Prime, Prime. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you, uh, Ironhide and Ratchet look nothing like their toy counterparts, man. I, I, I said it. I said it last night. The the toy versions of a lot of these Transformers in robot form look like hot garbage. Megatron looks like hot so garbage. True. Ironhide and Ratchet look terrible. Prime looked awesome. No, the worst one. I mean, like, the best one was probably Optimus Prime. Sure. Uh, the worst one was Megatron. Yeah. Megatron looked, looked way awkward. And if you had it for more than a month and tried transforming it because it was all metal, it became all loose and garbagey. Yeah. And the fact that his the, the handle of the, of the pistol that he transformed into mm-hmm. was his legs and that the trigger became his crotch. Yeah, it was <laughs> awkward. Are we back to crotches? <laughs> hey, when you talk about eighties toys, you got to talk about crotches. You know, Soundwave. Sound, was, Soundwave was, was definitely my fave. Yeah, I, I actually had Soundwave. Soundwave was a cool one. Um, Shockwave, yeah. I just, I, I also still thought was a cool and like his transform and his his transform transformation was fine. But yeah, some of these were like not well thought out at all. He's a he's a one man he's a one man army. Soundwave is pretty much. Mm. The, mm-hmm. the the three planes I think were okay. The first version, the second versions that that were like Ku Klux Klan members, they sucked. <laughs> with the mm-hmm. with the pointy head, yeah. Yes. That's so true. The pencil heads. So up? here's, I like, see, I like, here's the saddest I like part. Also, one like, of the you're, saddest parts. You're you're on you're on the show with four adult men who don't know how to stop talking. <laughs> so if you have something to say, you're just gonna have to butt in. It's the only time I'm gonna allow you to be rude and interrupt. What's up? Um. I've listened to this soundtrack three times um, since we've decided we're going to do it. But go ahead, go ahead, Lily. I'm, I'm I'm sitting there interrupting you. Go ahead. I'm, I'm hungry. Are you? You're hungry. All right. Well, that's not part of the podcast. <laughs> are you, why are you ruining oh, that show? How terrifying is that when when smoke rolls out of his mouth? Okay, go Get, ask mommy for food. Did anybody Get, die in the actual cartoon? No. No. Okay. No. No. They only brought him back. I mean, life. this is. This is some brutality right here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and did anybody else as a kid or a, even as an adult have a problem with them shrinking and yes and growing when they, you know, defies, defies all laws of logic? <laughs> yeah. 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 Megatron <laughs> transforms into a gun and becomes instantly smaller. Yeah. <laughs> so. All right. We've solved start- the food problem. Lily's going to have chocolate covered blueberries. Nice. All right. They're my favorite. Um, yeah, this oh, was man. This was a brutal scene set by the most awesome song ever. Oh. Yeah, that's true. Instruments of Destruction was my walkout music even as a child. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> this part, I hated this kid. <laughs> I hated this kid. Still do. And and the fact that that Hot Rod is even there made me mad. But he he's but Daniel, you know, he he just he 
babies this kid, and, and it bothered me as when I was when I was young and watching Poor this. Daniel. But at, from a from a script construction, you just had a scene where they murdered, you know, everyone from season one of the Transformers yeah. in one scene. Brutal shot, brutal shot to the head. Murder. They need. This is a children's program. They needed to break it up with something benign. So, and they also had to introduce these characters that we've never seen before. What you want them to do? I was one of these as a kid. His I call this like a graphic reboot. <laughs> <laughs> his uh, his yep. Yeah. Okay, this thing had to cost thousands of dollars, right? This <laughs> sure. skateboard or whatever. And then he lands on a rock and destroys it. <laughs> and they're like, well, it is 2000. Oh, hang on. No. It is 2005. The price could have dropped. Oh, that's true. We, we don't, don't know even when have, hoverboard. We, we, we don't know when hoverboards were invented. We don't know. Hoverboards haven't been invented. I want one. But, um, <laughs> well, in real life or in this cartoon universe? He's one ah! talking. Oh, oh, there he is, man. Him. Stop Boom. talking. Stop is on. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody be <laughs> quiet. <laughs> oh, what, what is that about? Nobody's Dude. favorite. And my favorite. Lily, one of, of my those favorites. two, tra- hang on, let me ask the expert. Of those two Transformers, the cool looking one with the, with the fire, <laughs> or the old one that just got ran over, which is the better Transformer? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, 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 I'm putting down, or no, I'm picking up what you're putting down. There you go. Okay, so you got to talk. No one's gonna see you point. Uh, no, <laughs> it's it's Rod. It, is it Rod? Hot Rod, okay. right? Is it Hot, hot rod. rod or Cup? Hot Rod's the red one. Uh, hot Rod is Hot Rod's obviously cool. Say, say it again. Say it loud and proud. Oh, whatever. Hot, hot rod. rod. Yeah, she's being coached by her dad. Oh, um, <laughs> I thought he was coaching. talking to me. There's so, no coaching there. He has very varying power. You know, like, like his arm cannon, Mark, Megatron's arm cannon, can either Let's wing. like barely Spare penetrate parts. somebody's armor, or that he can knock down a whole mountainside. What? What is this? <laughs> but then, who comes to save the day? <laughs> oh, yeah. Old man Magoo. Who's going to? He's like oh. tilt up Blitzkrieg's cannon. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> and Hot Rod still had to duck. Oh, yeah, but he yeah. ducked so he could hit um, the the Insecticon there. I can't remember his name, but it uh, doesn't matter. They were all they were the, it's same the Insecticons, there. yeah. And, uh, and and I was really disappointed because had all the Insecticons <laughs> and they didn't like form into one, you know, one giant robot like you know they like didn't the form combined Devastator. Yeah. yeah, they didn't. Yeah, Devastator was awesome. Devastator was awesome. And I love the but, I love their use of Devastator in this in this scene. Oh yeah, coming up. See, and there's Perceptor. My Perceptor. First, you know, man, he, I loved him. So Perceptor, Perceptor I need to, I, I wanted to point this out the other night, but I didn't want to like talk over everybody over really a non-point. But since we're watching the movie, it totally makes sense. Perceptor way out of percep- out of like depth of perception. Like, yeah. Oh yeah. He, he's a, he's a microscope, right? And he's, he's a he's a two story <laughs> tall microscope. Yes. I don't know. And they just he's used not the, in disguise. He, he was if just walk, used as a telescope. If which I walk is, in and see a telescope the size of a Ford Bronco. There's a problem. <laughs> Jesus. And uh, uh, yeah. I remember, remember Ultra the Ultra Magnus, Magnus toy yeah. was Ultra um, Magnus toy was awesome it, too. And they had the uh, pretty much the Altos Prime though. Yeah, it had the white Optimus Prime in it that you could use as the ghost of Optimus Prime. Uh, oh, I did. Right. So wait, hang on. Let me call her out. There's the Smurfette of the Transformers. <laughs> RC. Is this her first appearance? Has she been around? No, she around no, prior to the movie. This was her first appearance. Uh, Springer and RC were were new to this movie. Springer okay. is the, Cup the and green. Blur. And Cup and Blur and Hot yeah. Rod were too. Yeah. And Ultra Magnus. They're all. And Ultra Magnus. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But did anybody notice that Ultra Magnus is being towed by the, the the white Optimus Prime, you know, thing? But when he transforms, it just disappears in the yes. middle of his transformation. Yeah, I'll, a lot what? of transformations don't make any sense. No, no. And then poor Starscream. I loved Starscream. Cause oh, Bas- blue is oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, man. Now, here's some trivia. The voice of Starscream is also the voice of Cobra Commander. Cobra Commander, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Now the interesting thing about Autobot City is that is that Autobot City not, does not yet have his 
trans uh, his personality slash transformation cog or whatever the hell it's called. Oh, Metroplex. Yeah. So one of the episodes in season three that comes after this movie is all about getting him that piece of machinery so that he can be a live Autobot and transform on his own. That's cool and all, but the fact that he had like a million guns or the city has a million guns, I, it's really disappointing to me that, that they didn't just decimate the Decepticons. There's like five of them, and, <laughs> and then you have all these guns that are firing at once, and nothing <laughs> happens. with and the, Oh, head. Kick back. Got ran over. <laughs> My cup. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What do you think of this scene, Lily? There's a, a lot of fighting going on here. A lot of gun shooting. A lot of insect insecticons being run over by Hot Rod. Um, what do you? And cup. <laughs> cup doesn't count. So, what do you think of this scene? Um, I the, my favorite one I like in the show is that that. That girl that is pink. Yeah, that's RC. Yeah. Do you like her because she's a girl? Yeah. Does this? Did, let me ask you a question. Did you? Would you want to buy an, an RC toy uh, because of this movie? Yeah. Would you have wanted to buy a, tra- a toy transformer if there were no girls in it? Maybe. Maybe. Hmm. So just the just the addition of the girl transformer. Hmm. Um. I mean, opened it up. You would you would want to buy a transformer toy maybe just because they look cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do you like robots? Yeah. Okay. Nodding your head doesn't work either. You have to say yes. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. I'll I'll say Ratbat became pretty pretty popular on the comic actually. Ratbat. That's right. Because there was Ratbat Rumble. Um. Hang on. Hang on. What was that? Jonas, come here. What was that? A bumblebee toy. Yeah, you want a bumblebee toy? Yeah. Okay. Is he do you been... like bumblebee in the? Do you like bumblebee in the show? Yeah. Okay. Bumblebee almost dies in this. <laughs> wow. He's I, like. Dude. I can never. I can never <laughs> name blasters. Yeah, I can't remember blasters. Uh, his his cassette tape transformers. No, they, but commercial. They didn't make a, they didn't make a lot of appearances. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was an interesting cut, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> But okay, yes, Soundwave uh, had me, Rumble, me, yes, Frenzy, yeah. Assault, Laserbeak, Ratbat, and Ravage. Ravage was the was the. Uh, but they gave the a Panther. lot of personality to his cassette tapes, and they made a lot oh, of man. appearances, as mm. opposed to Blasters, which had very very few and had no Wheeljack. personality. Dad going. <laughs> it was <laughs> Wheeljack was dead. Yeah, <laughs> and, and when when Shear. And they couldn't push this unless Cup came Cup out. Came, in. Cup came to help. See, all I see is Hot Rod helping out. The, and then you the got the annoying little kid. I'll help. <laughs> you know, <laughs> he's trying. He's not like some millennial snowflake well, going, it's too heavy. Call my mother. Good. Give him the best try reward and get him out of there. <laughs> Stop being mean to children. That's why I didn't want you on this podcast. It's not being mean to children. It's just being mean to that one, Daniel. Uh-huh. But Start Daniel... Just a heads up to everybody out there, Ronnie Adams, Super Cup fan. <laughs> I am. I am. Also hates children. <laughs> I don't hate children. <laughs> oh, All oh, right. Here he comes. Here it comes, baby. Devastator. Oh, oh man. Devastator, Lily. And who calls him out? Uh, he is Cup. cool, but how come a lot of things can transform into one huge, gigantic robot like that? Oh, that, was, because- that was a gimmick. Yeah. <laughs> that was a gimmick. So they made these transformers they call combiners, where five of them would form one big robot. There was you had the, to purchase um, all five. No, yeah, it was shot also in a back. marketing strategy to get you to buy more transformers. <laughs> you, <laughs> we only bring the realest of facts here on the Rattlet <laughs> Broadcasting <laughs> Network. We hope you learn something, kids. <laughs> God, are Devastator they, took that. Are breakable <laughs> or are they breakable or unbreakable? Well, Devast- Devastator is when he when when the constructor cons form Devastator, he's very much harder to take down. That's the whole point of having a big giant. Robot. Yeah, he's huge. You know what they should have used in this movie though? Omega Supreme. They'd have killed him. Oh. He was an old Transformer. Yeah, you know, they needed to make new ones. But, or even um, Superion. Yeah. Well, they yeah they they made the Stunticons. I Uh-oh. can't believe I remember that. They made the Stunticons, and then the um, uh, what do you call it? The uh, the one the aerial bots. 
And, yeah, and those, and Superion. Those, right, and those from Superion or whatever the car one was. But they didn't have a lot of appearances either. And here come no. the stars of this movie, baby, the Dinobots. That's Dino Sons of Collins for the uh, Minister. Oh, take that, Grimlock. Did, is Grimlock one of your favorites, Jonas? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, that's yeah. my three-year-old Ooh. son who knows what's up. Three. <laughs> all right. Um, extra cool points to, to anybody that can name all of the Dinobots, because oh. the uh, the that, Justin Thomas, Thomas Grimlock, <laughs> yeah, Grimlock, <laughs> Sludge, Snarl, Sweep, Sludge. There you, there you go, go, baby. And you got the fa- touch. And there's my favorite all about <laughs> background hound who gets no play in this movie other than standing behind Optimus in a still shot. <laughs> <laughs> Prowl. Oh Lord. Oh, he just stepped on my, on Swoop. All right, which one's your favorite Dinobot, Lily? My favorite Dinobot is the Pterodactyl. Okay, so the, hey, which one's the Pterodactyl? Swoop. Swoop, that's his name. I like the cool, I like the... I like okay, here's the cool part coming up. Here goes the cone head. They're getting aired. Boom, boom, boom. Take boom. care of business, Optimus. Yeah, <laughs> and he is like that in all the Michael Bay movies and all the cartoons. Like the Autobots ain't shit, and then Optimus Prime shows up and kills everybody. You should yep. see him in the new Michael Bay movie. One I don't want to give too much away, fall. but there's like a mass beheading in the movie. Nice. So like, this was yeah, <laughs> this was this was epic when you were a kid. You're like, this is like even as a kid, you could find, you could feel that this was. Like their final battle. This, yeah, this is, is going to be. It's going you and down. your best friend act this out every day of your life. <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> we. And then. I remember and then he me just. And oh. buddy, me and my buddy Rob would act out this entire scene. And we. And like we did this once like in a public park during like a doo wop concert. Like we walked. Like the doo wop concert was going to be in the park. And we went over to like the playground because I didn't want to watch the doo wop. And. Um, you know, and we were just playing in the park and everything, and we were Optimus Prime and Megatron locked in an eternal struggle. And I remember <laughs> these girls overheard us and were like, just kept making fun of us. We were like, fuck you, man. This is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> we got the touch. Man, we- Megatron is spry for a, for a old <laughs> Decepticon. He did a kip up slash kick right there. Yeah, he did. And then, and then, just, and then uh, Optimus just says, no, I'm going to pick you up by your head and throw you. And there's Cup interfering where nobody's where he's not wanted. <laughs> he's, he, he's no, he's encouraging on the victim. him. He needed to shut his mouth. Let, let Optimus Prime do his work. <laughs> so, I really wanted them to come out with all these extra weapons. You know, the pistols and the and and Megatron's lightsaber he had there. So Megatron yeah. is looking at a gun, even though he is a gun. Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, no, he, he took his. He took his. Forming into a gun. First of all, he's just gonna fall down. The gun didn't have legs. Oh, he couldn't shoot himself. No. He so, who's the gun. real villain here? Is it Megatron or is it Hot Rod for it, interfering and getting hot, Optimus it, shot? Oh, it's oh. Hot Rod, but that's Hot Rod's arc. See, you know, he has no. to become the leader. You know, at the moment, he's an immature. He's an immature robot. He's much more. He's Judd Nelson. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Don't I do just it. called Judd Nelson an immature <laughs> robot. All right, here we go. The best part of the movie coming up. Never! Bam! Bam! <laughs> Bam. Oh. Boom. Ouch. I bet you there are some wrestling matches, whether they be never on tape, that are modeled after this fight. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Even with the gun. The cracks. He does have a lot of cracks, Lily. He got messed up during that battle. So did Megatron. Don't you star screen? Anyone else notice that despite being all shot at point blank range, none of the other Decepticons show any marks from Prime's attack? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Salway right got one. shot. Yeah. Yeah. Salway got shot right in the chest. And he's like, no, nah, I'm good. Yeah. I'm look look good. at Astro Train yeah. here. I mean, he just like grew enormous enough to call all <laughs> these Decepticons away. Yeah. That there's... had to have been explored at some point, like how they can change shape. Cause that nope. oh, that did bug me. I no, want to know why. It's just like they just cha- they just change shape for just to accommodate whatever they need to. Accommodate. I guess I should say size. Make because, sure I ex- explicitly say because they change shape. They're called transformers. I wasn't going to say anything. But. <laughs> yeah, shut up. Okay, can we can we just can we just give Rumble his props for carrying the gun behind Sally? Because I remember even in the movie, everyone <laughs> laughing at that. That was great. Yeah. <laughs> but he he thought about. It. I mean, he knew to pick it up. 
He's like, Megatron's not Megatron without his uh, scope slash arm cannon. And then you got Ultra Magnus with the arm missiles. Yes. What the heck? Which will serve him no good. Yeah. What you see in there, Perceptor? He What's did. Perception, Perceptor? <laughs> he did. <laughs> you large microscope, you. Gosh. So, uh, did anybody at the hospital order this two-story microscope? No. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> wonder, uh, wonder, oh my God, it turned into a robot. <laughs> saw that coming. Yeah, he should have been a smaller transformer, but I guess that really wouldn't have worked out very well. I mean, he's, I mean, con- comparative size, you know, he works as a microscope, you know, to us humans, but then he should transform into a six foot tall <coughs> robot. Right. Least. Well, no, uh, he should turn into a six inch tall robot because well, which he does, but you know, but compared to the other, compared to the other robots, he should be like, you know, well, yeah, quite short. Oh. Oh, here goes the here we go. Here we go. from this whole fading this thing. This is a very Ugh. sad scene, Lily. This is where Optimus Prime dies. What do you think about this? I just don't like it a little bit. You don't like it? You don't like it because he dies? Now, this is what we call well, foreshadowing. Okay? Foreshadowing is where we show something in the movie that tells you about what's going to happen later on in the movie. So here's what happens. This is Star- where we ruin the magic of movies for you. <laughs> so, so watch what happens here, right? Wow. Now, Optimus Prime grabs the Matrix of Leadership and look, ah, oh, look at him. That's foreshadowing. You know what's going to happen at the end of the movie? He's going to fulfill his uh, hero's journey and become the leader of the Autobots. But right now, he's handing over the Matrix of Leadership to this hump. What Ultra Magnus? Ultra Magnus was awesome. Come on, what man. did Ultra Magnus do, do in this movie that was of any? He cursed for the first time in a comic or in a cartoon. He will get yes. shot to pieces. He cursed for the first time in the, oh, oh wait wait wait, and he did. <sighs> what? And okay, his, why did he change soul, colors? Yeah, his soul. Okay, this was explained. I've and all the reading okay. I've done about this movie, I that's an honest. I actually shut just up, Daniel. Nobody likes this. you. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> they wanted to show on screen Optimus Prime's soul leaving his body. So they thought when oh. the soul leaves the Transformer, it changes all the great. It'll happen. This, the same thing will happen to Starscream before he turns to cigarette ash. Right, yeah. But, I mean, you never really seen any other Autobots really turn to, I don't know. <laughs> they're all they're all soulless and follow no god. Oh, my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Optimus Prime was a devout Catholic. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know. You want an explanation? I gave you one. <laughs> I didn't. I, I didn't. <laughs> I mean, I, I want You gave me an explanation. I was like, oh, so I'll leave in the body. And then you just went into this whole devout Catholic and the others are. Well, I got questioned on it and I passed. Godless heathens and. <laughs> oh, gee. <laughs> I like. He's hey, saying, dear. Yeah, here goes the Insecticons. Yeah, but you and, you and go. those. How'd those you go? <laughs> <laughs> Bunch of trash. And, this is a great line. Still I function. still function. What a bet! <laughs> that was so and hard. And there you go. Hey, we see ya. Enjoy space, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> and here we and... see the Decepticons falling into anarchy. <laughs> yeah. Don't they try to form a Devastator inside of Astro Train? There was no depth perception in this movie at all. <laughs> 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 like, here, we'll form, let's form into a 15 foot robot inside of a 10 foot train. Uh, sure. It'll be fantastic. And, then, and, then, <laughs> and, and, and when the train transforms <laughs> into a robot, <laughs> it goes back. Oh, my Lord. This was another uh, great. Oh, I remember. Oh, I just think oh. remember the scene in the movie, in the movie theater, and when. Oh, when and then we're going to pound the crap out of Astro Train now. <laughs> in space, cut it out. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thanks. Hang on. What? What's your question, Lily? What are they doing now? They're fighting over the right to be the leader of the Decepticons. They just threw the other leader out the window like garbage. <laughs> <laughs> and that so, so Skywalker and Thundercracker also. So Starscream. 
declared himself the leader, and then the uh, other Decepticons got jealous, and they decided they wanted to be leader, so they all started fighting over it. We've okay? seen this guy before. Is what, is he belch or something right here? <laughs> no, he's talking. I know. He clearly said Megatron. I know. <laughs> but and, and that doesn't hurt him? Megatron scratching out. He, he, Unicron seems like a big, tough robot. Yeah, okay, yeah. was there a Unicron toy? No. Oh, yeah. No. There was? No. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. I know somebody who owned it. I read that there was no Unicron toy because the the cost of manufacturing it and the complications of designing it were cumbersome, and they decided to just scrap the toy. Well, there I wasn't the, one at the time of this movie, but there was I, I actually have the uh, Armada Unicron. So, did, does it transform into an actual person? Yes. Okay. Yes. It isn't What's the just... Armada. What's that? What's the Armada? That's uh, Transformers Armada. Yeah. The there was there, there was a bunch of series that were on like in the early 2000s. There was Armada, Cybertron, Energon. Oh really? No, I didn't, yeah, didn't they, know about. It. And they made a Unicron toy? Yeah, they made one for Armada and one for Energon. The Energon one was black. And when with it trans- neon, with neon green on it. When it transforms, does it just transform this big old stupid globe? Yes. All right. <laughs> I stand corrected. But I don't believe, I don't remember there being a Unicron toy. I don't, I, I think you're right at the time of the movie, but they went back and they, they've, you know, done commem- uh, per- commemorative toys or whatever, you know, they went back and said, okay, we'll recreate this. There never was one, so we'll, re- we'll make it. And uh, here comes a, painful transformation for Megatron. Yeah. But uh, uh but, so Mark but they the did make one. Mark the time. It's about nine fifty and I'm pretty sure we're about to lose my daughter. Uh oh. She, she's about out. Yeah she's you, about you out. Probably, you done Enter Gavatron. Uh, I called her out on and now she's pouting. <laughs> I'm back to normal. You're back to normal now? Okay. Back to normal means I'm back to be awake. I'll okay. believe that for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Galvatron, okay? Who's now going to be voiced by Leonard Nimoy, who was Spock in Star Trek. Okay, you don't understand any of that because you've never watched Star Trek or know who Leonard Nimoy is. <laughs> and but, now we have Scourge and Cyclonus. So this, okay, so my only issue with this is it felt lazy to me because it's like three versions of Scourge and two versions of Cyclonus. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think the other Cy- the other Cyclonus does anything, really. No, They're just I, like, all right, oh, we miscounted, so let's turn him into another Cyclonus. Yeah, this, I mean, like, I don't have a lot of complaints about this movie. It's, it's To me, it's damn near flawless. Yeah. But, like, little things like three Scourges and two Cyclonuses bug me. Like, I, And I, the fact like, I that get, uh, Unicron had a, a, a ship just chilling inside his yeah. body. Yeah. Yeah, well, Unicron has magic powers. <laughs> I gotta say, Galatron uh, was also in his canon form. Well, uh, <laughs> unlike his, well, okay. unlike the laser gun, you know. <laughs> what was? Oh uh, yeah, no, the Galvatron. The Galvatron. I own the Galvatron toy, and it was like the best thing ever. You still own Not it? Not better than Shockwave. But meanwhile, the Hall of Justice. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, for a movie with a lot of death, there were some very funny scenes. This one being one, like of them. this one, yeah. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> nice shooting text. <laughs> that crap. There is in tar- at Target, they create recreated a Starscream toy. Yeah. And he changes into the jet and everything. And he comes with that crown. No. Yeah, nice. he does. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I want one so bad. That's that awesome. is fantastic. You you want you want that toy, Ronnie? To save it for my child, child later on. <laughs> Shut up, Brad. <laughs> Saw that coming, did you? <laughs> yeah. I know. I and told you guys. What? It just do you want to explain yourself, Starscream? Too no, bad. We got, we got it, it. No. I don't think an explanation from Starscream. See, his soul has left his body. Oh, uh, wow. Fatality. <laughs> so wait, Jonah. Devil which toy do you want? Which, which toy do you want? An excellent, excellent bit of animation. He crushes okay. it, and then he the drags the toy? crown. The guy with the cannon. 
Okay, you want Bumblebee and Galvatron. Good choices. There you go. Yeah. But did y'all notice that? Just an excellent bit of animation in this. For some of the lazy animation and that you got in the 80s, you know, but that, when he steps on the crown and he drags it with his foot, yeah. was just beautiful. Oh, yeah, beautiful. the animation in this is spot on. Yeah. There's some mistakes here or there, but for the most part, <laughs> I mean, especially, you're right, especially at that time, this was phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah, Cliff Jumper oh. was pretty much uh, repainted Bumblebee back in the day. Yeah, the well, toy was. that's what I called him as a kid was Red Bumblebee. Yeah, and <laughs> well, that's the thing is that his toy was the same thing. Like they yeah. made certain kinds of toys that were basically duplicates of one another with just different paint jobs and different names. Oh, what? My chest is talking. <laughs> Got to turn <laughs> into a radio. <laughs> <laughs> What's he do? I just ignore him. He does this all the time. Oh, oh, you're the leader now, Ultra Magnus. What are you going to so do you know with how, big old blue eyes? So you know how like some of the Transformers will project to humans so that it looks like they're not just being ghost-ridden? Do you think Blaster can project like a funky black man to carry him around? <laughs> no, that was, that was Jazz. No. <laughs> okay. Thanks it, for you, didn't, you didn't get it, Brawny. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> I, too late, but I got Technically. it. <laughs> Technically. Technically. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, Technically, and just so everyone doesn't think I'm a complete yes. racist, Mel Brooks made the same joke like 40 years ago in History of the World Part 1. So <laughs> yeah, there. That's very true. Remember Spike when he was the young kid in the original cartoon? Yeah. Yep. yep. Spike and And he dad. was less annoying than Daniel, his son. Spike and Buster, right? Something like that. I don't remember what the dad's name was, but it was something ridiculous. Spartan Plug. And they were uh, they worked on an oil rig. Oh, spark plug, wasn't it? Yeah. His yeah. dad was Bob Holly. <laughs> oh, sparky plug. Sparky plug. Okay, so I have a problem with what's happening here. Um, I don't care as much that the Unicron is eating the moons, but have anyone who who because this happens in in um the last night as well. Spoilers. Uh, if you eat a moon and it suddenly disappears, it changes. You're going to have problems on the earth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it changes. Tidal orbit. waves. It causes tidal waves. <laughs> so how is this not affecting Cybertron spatially? It's, Cybertron's it ener- Energon waves. waves. <laughs> it's yeah. a, it is a robot planet in a cartoon, Mark. Now, I'm, Steve. I'll see in uh, the Energon, I believe it, Energon or Cybertron. Cybertron was actually like Unicron. He could transform. The The planet could? So it's yes. not affected by physics. Apparently you know, not. All of, all, of all the things that we've talked about, I'm going to give you crap about that. I'm sorry. I, I take it back. Listen. Yeah, if physics have went out the window. Once we figured out there was a two-story telescope <laughs> slash microscope <laughs> slash yeah and there are dinosaurs so, that are robots as well <laughs> Lily, I, when you go to school and yeah. you start learning about space and physics please understand that if something happens to the earth's orbit or the moons around it we will have massive destruction throughout the planet this is not realistic <laughs> sweet dreams <laughs> okay. okay i'm not saying that interstellar space robots are not realistic we don't know it's a vast universe but if something happens to the moons we're in <sighs> trouble Okay, that's true. You got to teach your kids. And, you do. And then, okay, what are these? What? Uh, what are? Uh, it's. Uh, see, he he's inside he's, of another yeah. robot. <laughs> what? Yeah, he's in Cyclonus. <laughs> in Cyclonus. Yeah, he really is inside Cyclonus. Yeah, is Cyclonus and Scourge who has a yeah that why head. It? That was another dumb design. Why is this face yeah. got to be on there like that? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It looks a little strange. And what did, what were Cyclonus' uh, uh, clones called? Um, it was Cyclonus it was like, and his like something. Scourge and his Huntsman, the Sweeps. And Cyclonus, yeah, the Sweeps. And here's Cyclonus and his Armadament. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, one guy, his Armadament. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what that means. I it, cannot and here, hear him advertising micro machines every time I hear him talk. <laughs> yeah, dude. Get on the ship and now buy this tiny car. <laughs> Shaking his fist at him, you dirty rat. <laughs> you. Oh, see, they all breathe fire. 
Because we know that dinosaurs did that. Oh, yeah. Dinosaurs didn't really breathe fire, Lily. <laughs> <clears throat> um, <laughs> what? Grimlock. That's Grimlock. You have a Grimlock toy. Ooh. Does he have a Grimlock okay. toy, or now does Mark have a Grimlock toy? So I can see, please. Mark ain't got toys anymore. <laughs> no, my, that's my son pointing that out, that he has a Grimlock toy, which he got for Easter. Big boost. <laughs> do the, do so, the Dinobots not fly? Is that what their problem is? I guess it's a, a B.A. Baracus thing? No, they just were being jerks. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is a great... Tell me about the Petro Rabbits again, Cup. <laughs> yeah. See, even... <laughs> Grimlock knows good, and Cup is good. Ronnie loves Cup's War stories. <laughs> I do love Cup's War stories. Because <laughs> Cup is an awesome Autobot. <laughs> I don't know so, if they make this version of Grimlock anymore. They just have the green one that you have. I'm sure they do. I mean, if you go on Target, they've got all kinds of like classic one remakes. Really? Yeah, I mean, because I found Retgar on there, and I really, really, really wanted to buy him. Oh wow! You got a, okay. Yeah, for a child, yeah. right? Was this for, for my child? child. <laughs> Shut up, Mark. <Martin. laughs> <laughs> See what the heck? They're like, uh, <laughs> who did we forget? RC take off. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't we really transform into anything in Yeah, do you transform? Doesn't she do a bike or something? <laughs> Motorcycle. Yeah, no, all like, cars. But like she's, she's a motorcycle. Her, her she's and motorcycle. Blue are like Cybertronian Jetsons cars. Okay, so here's the other thing that I never understood as a kid. On Earth, they're all semis and cars and cop cars and jets. But when they travel back to Cybertron, you know, they go back and forth, you know, space bridge or whatever. Um, they immediately come become the space cars again. Daddy? You know, Daddy? it well, is. Is there are there their forms like depend on what planet where they at? Yeah, where they're at. Well, remember, remember their tagline: they are robots in disguise. So when they're on Cybertron, they are of cyber. They, they look like Cybertronian <laughs> vehicles. But when they're on Earth, they're supposed to be masquerading as Earth vehicles. So they would take on Earth cars. If you remember from like the first season of the yeah. Transformers, when they showed like Starscream and all them on Cybertron, they were like floating pyramids. Yeah. Really? Right, what's your question, Joe? Um, it's raining outside. It is oh. raining outside, buddy. Thank <laughs> you for sharing that with us. So, well, never mind. I'm, it's, it's, so, a, it's a cartoon. Uh, Casey Kasem, too, isn't it? Yeah. I really wanted Hot Rod to come with that sword and shield, too, as a kid. <laughs> it, it made him so much cooler. And uh, but uh, but I just remember in the first in the first season in the cartoon that, you know, they were trapped on Earth for millions of years or whatever is what it said that they this little robot went out and and scanned, you know, just like in the um, just like in the the movie, almost not just like it was cooler in the cartoon scanned all these Earth uh, vehicles. And that's where they got their their forms from. Also, yes, I understand that they're robots in disguise when they're on a different planet. Why do they need to be in disguise on their home planet? Because it's a planet completely inhabited Made by of ro- robots. It is robots a, that it is a robot turn planet. Into vehicles. <laughs> so, well, they, which one? Do they I just mean, forget? You know, like, oh no, Megatron's going to kill us! Quick, transform into a car. And he's like, oh, curses! Where did they go? <laughs> All I see are two cars over there. <laughs> well, remember, they were migrating like, back and forth between Earth and Cybertron there for a while. In the third season, I'm pretty sure it's all futuristic Jetsons cars. Okay. So, by the way, Mark, if you get a chance to watch Beast Wars as well. Okay. I didn't care for Beast Wars. I've heard Beast Wars is pretty good. I, I was ne- It never appealed to me because I didn't like the concept of, of Beast Transformers. But you know what? I'm really enjoying this Transformers Prime, and I've heard Beast Wars got good ratings too. So I'll probably give that a mm-hmm. shot at some point. Is it on and Netflix? Also, I was going to say, so pretty much you had Beast Wars Season 1 and 2, and then you had 2000 did uh, Robots in Disguise. And then they went on with Armada, Energon, and Cybertron after that. Is there a spaceship... In any large property like this that does not have a part 
separates that that separates <laughs> you've got the enterprise you've got the the autobot uh whatever they call that that ship the you know everything separates and then the bad guy blows up the back part and they're like oh hey we got him we won hey malayne Do falcon didn't separate movie? the what true malayne falcon did not separate it didn't it didn't no, it did not. separate nothing in star wars separates the way you're describing you know what? Shut up, y'all. That, that, <laughs> what what franchise is Star Wars anyway? I mean, well, no. Oh, he's well, a, he's a, he's got a headache. I'll say in the C- uh, late 70s, early eighties, uh, Marvel had it. <clears throat> yeah, and they have it now again because Disney owns the world. Yes, they yeah. do. Disney but, um, owns your yeah. childhood as they should. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, at least they're doing good things with it. Yeah, at least it's not Sony who has Amy Pascal ruining everything she talks about. <laughs> That's very true. It's very, very true. Did you hear that, that this idiot is running around saying that Venom is going to be part of the MCU? And she says it in front of Kevin Feige, who looks at her and says, shut your whore mouth. You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> We've agreed uh, <laughs> regarding your stupid all this Spider-Man is awesome. movies. So, all right. Robot Fish. Eating other robot fish. Eating other robot movie, fish. Is like, there any planet in this solar system or, or the surrounding solar system that is not inhabited by robots? <laughs> I, you know, I, I, I got to imagine the writers were like, you know, it's Transformers. Transformers are robots. Everything is robots. And they say more thought than that. I will say cybernetic life makes more sense than uh, organic life on you know, all the planets. It's true. Cut, there he goes. He's cutting this fish in half with what that. Is, no, I don't understand. Why does cybernetic life on planets make more sense than than than? You wouldn't have to if, if it was cyber. Mark, how do you not understand that robots are going to take over the universe? That's true. <laughs> A giant robot squid. <laughs> so what we're saying? My is, night has well, been made. There's some sort of interstellar Skynet out there that took over. Oh, it's coming. A humanoid planet. <laughs> and, and we're seeing the extension of that. That seems a more terrifying concept than than Unicron. <laughs> okay, I really I don't have any counter evidence for this or or, or any kind of argument. So sure, <laughs> sure. He's just okay. Let's get back to the movie because oh hey, he, the squid just inked after getting his eye blown up. <laughs> it was cybernetic. Oh guys, oh, old man cop. No, oh guys, he made me ink. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, it's Cup doing his impression of the scarecrow from the Wizard of Oz. Listen. Aww. You listen here. Cup is awesome. He's tougher than Optimus Prime. Yeah, he's not dead. Hey, look, he's unarmed. <laughs> ah, boo. Jonas, which toy would you rather have? The red oh, one. Yes, leg is stand on. <laughs> Hang on. No, no, you you can only choose one. Don't be greedy. You can only choose one toy. Which one would you choose? The red one or the or the blue one? I'm on the screen, buddy. The red one or the blue one? The one that with the with the cool laser cannons, or the one that was in pieces? You know, you can't coach him. You just say red or blue. I like Bumblebee. You just like Bumblebee. Okay, good answer. Okay. And the bat. And Galvatron. Got it. At least I like I'll accept that. Yeah. Yeah. And Grimlock. And Grimlock. And Grimlock. And cup. Nope. <laughs> I'm not buying my son a cup toy. Sorry. No, it's awesome. He transforms into a truck. Yeah. It might be an El Camino. Like, I'm not sure. And it looks like a Subaru. <laughs> you look like a Subaru. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I'm sorry. <laughs> World's worst insult. <laughs> ah, no. <laughs> All right. So the best part of the one of the best parts of the movie is coming up next. That's the best song in the in the entire. Song. I mean, we've heard some great music up to this point. We've heard Dare. We've heard oh, Instruments geez. of Destruction. Uh, the, you get, you get nothing's going to nothing's going to get in our way. I think it's really inching up on my favorites. Yeah, nothing's going to yeah. get in our way. Is the, the last one with the, with Space Fish. Um, the, <laughs> I know we've talked about physics, but the arms on this thing don't make any sense <laughs> at all. <laughs> His arms immediately became six feet long. A piece. <laughs> <laughs> what they, the heck? They, they, no, they, you are, okay. No, what you're not understanding is that his arms don't go all the way through. Those are robot hands that he's controlling. 
it, you, the guy can't even walk. How do you think he can understand robot hands? No. <laughs> <laughs> Just throw him in a suit. Walk and then he does a flip. Hands. <laughs> yes, <he's>... <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Yeah, because it's an exoskeleton. It's a suit, but. It just it just looks like his arms are six feet long. Oh, oh, oh here, here come the junkies. Here come the junkies. Yes. These guys are oh, amazing. Oh, it's so funny while they talk in commercials. Oh, what's yeah. up, Joe? Commercial. Commercial break. You an exosuit? I'd say, though. No, it's an exosuit, not a snowsuit. It's an exosuit. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say one of my favorite suit from the... From the Transform movie, it had to be the Sharktacons. Uh. Oh, the Sharktacons are great. This whole scene coming up is, is that this whole sequence is outstanding. For the last time, son, that's not a snowsuit. It's a it's an exosuit. He doesn't know what an exo. He probably doesn't even know what a snowsuit is. Yeah, living in Florida. Yeah, <gasps> I'm actually surprised he made that connection to snowsuit. I know, right? You're a smart kid, Jonas. Yeah, he is. Yeah. It does kind of look like one, but I'm telling you it's an exosuit. Okay. So here's a good question. Where does okay. Wheelie come from? Wheelie is probably my second least favorite. Yeah, I'll give you that one. Wheelie was a very annoying character. <laughs> oh, here we go. What I, the I shark mean, to the pop, uh, What I wanted to call one of our podcasts, Transformers, Bob Weep, Ron, I Weep, Nitty Bob. <laughs> <laughs> And they give him Energon snacks. Yes. <laughs> what I mean, is it like a Scooby snack? I mean, and he reaches into his crotch to get him. <laughs> what like is it with the 80s when crotches? It looks like a, again, it's like a stick of gum, man. I mean, it's eight. not that big. Oh. What are you all eating, man? Come on. Crotch goodies. Crotch goodies. Here, eat this Cuff food I pulled from yet my... again. Cup crotch. Eat this, eat this food that I pulled from my groin. <laughs> yep. Here, eat my underwear snacks. See, now those aren't <laughs> sharp Those are actually going something up. different. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm going up. Yep. <laughs> Jonas thinks it's funny. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's a futuristic Jessen's car. Was, was that RC? Well, yeah, that's wheelie. That was wheelie. wheelie. Oh, okay. The kind of awful RC's on the, RC's on the junk planet. Yeah, I'm following. All right, here are the Quintessons. doing nothing. See, I wanted I wanted a Quintesson <laughs> toy. They never made these either. There, there's a, those are the shark decons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They actually had him on. Um, what is Transformers? Energon. They called him Alpha Q. Alpha Q. Okay. He just looks like a praying mantis sicon. Everybody get a good look and laugh. <laughs> I'm talking I'm talking the uh, Qu- Quintesson. But um, call him Alpha Q in the, one. Oh. In the original um showcase of release of these Transformers, whatever version this was, they actually had of all of the things in this sequence, they had Sharktacons and they had Wheelie. Yeah. And this guy with his his goatee. <laughs> Metal goatee. His metal this, goatee. This guy. <laughs> like, I say, this guy was from the planet in the beginning. Yeah, but he has a metal goatee. Yeah, they they all had kind of some neat facial hair there in the beginning. Yeah, that's part. Of that, that was part of their gimmick. Do any? Yeah, I was gonna say, do any of our regular Autobots or Decepticons have facial hair? No. Or I should say, well, I have no idea what to call it. Facial metal. <laughs> facial metal. Yeah. Decorative facial metal. Uh oh. And what? Okay, what was the tentacle guy called with the big head? Uh, Xenomorphobot. H H R Geiger H R Geiger like. H R Geiger bot. <laughs> and H R Geiger con. You have to end it in either bot or con. Oh, he innocent, did. innocent he or did. guilty. They're always guilty. Might as well say. <laughs> Too bad that guy couldn't <laughs> transform into a plane. I don't. I don't think he, he transformed in lunch. What transformed to? Yes, he did. Transformed into shark. Shark they know, to poo. They know they're in trouble because they can't fly. He transformed into a chum sickle. Uh, <laughs> waka waka. 
And it's just disturbing that, you know, Swoop, when he transforms, his face goes into his chest to reveal another face. I mean, how dumb can you got to be? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> a bungee pit right there. You can see it. I mean, why, why, were the, why are the Dinobots such idiots? I'm like, hey, well, there's... The dinosaurs were not said to be particularly bright. Yeah, it's That's all about true. it's all about they had the pea sized brain, I think. Oh Lord, Wheelie. Yeah, what? You want the little the little robot there, Joe? No, no, oh, no, oh no, Jonas, no. So you had the okay, that's Grimlock. The He's speaking Grimlock. in Yoda. Friend fine, look behind. <laughs> <laughs> he knocked him down and then he gets right, the get shot. Off. Boom! Hit you right with a the nose. Why did boy hit my nose? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! The, this uh, wheelie, gosh! I would not have been disappointed if Wheelie went the way of Ironhide. Wheelie was like the Gobot that showed up accidentally in this movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the Gobots for a second. <laughs> Who owns the Gobots? Because I've always wanted to see like a Gobots versus Transformers story, but they never into the same. Galoob, you know, didn't Galoob? they? When we, yeah, probably when we read, uh, when we were reading uh, Revolution, I thought the Gobots were showing up for a second. Oh, now, I, re- I think I remember hearing rumors of that. Way. No, yeah, but Bobo they did not. Hasbro. Yeah. Yeah. I really want them to be Hasbro so they can show up. And the Transformers look at them and go, no. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> I'm leader um, one. You're a piece oh, of crap is what you are. <laughs> well, hey, look, they're, they're at least their evil leader was a better Transformer, you know, toy than Megatron. Oh, Psykill? <laughs> yeah. Psykill. Well, did he so have does wheel, anyone like, know who owns the GoBots? Like, like where, where are like, somebody has to at this point? Somebody owns I'll, I'll look that it up. property. I'll say right. Galoob, I think made him riff off the bat. Oh, here we go. Tonka. Tonka. Tonka had him. Tonka had him. Okay. Okay. So who owns Tonka now? Because like, there's only three um, companies left in the uni- in, in the entire world. Yes. Yeah, sure. I don't know. Hasbro. <laughs> Is it really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hasbro is the parent company. Hasbro is the parent company oh, of Tonka. Turn into helicopter. Yes. Someone call IDW. They are missing out on a gold mine here. Uh, go. No. Oh. Where is my That's Transformers deep. versus the GoBots? RC remember the just Rock Warriors? Space car, Transform. by the way. Transform. Transform. So remember the Rock Wars? Okay, that's an Insecticon. It is. And that's a... I thought all the Insecticons got beat to hell and got turned into new Transformers. You know what? Oh. I don't know, but I just know that Daniel transformed into whatever that is, and I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> he transformed into a Space Jetsons car. Yeah, well, it was, yeah, more of a... Uh, whatever, the, I don't know what they're called. Where did Blaster go? You know, that's a good Bla- good Blaster's question. on Earth. Oh, okay. Oh, he stayed behind with uh, yeah. Metroplex? Yeah. Here comes the big moment. Yeah, yeah here it is. This <laughs> the is first the only... time I ever heard a curse word in a in a cartoon. This is the only feat he accomplishes in the movie, being impotent and being splashed into shreds. Oh, man. Don't. This Ultra Magnus. Yeah, whatever. He's, oh, just, more, he's just more effective than Cuff. Open your eyes. Uh, I just wanted him to say that. Ah! Exterminate! Yeah, exterminate him. Why are there four? Why are there four of the scourge and when scourge and the sweeps when there were only like <laughs> scourge and two sweeps created? See, they lose track of everything in this movie. I think I've seen a Galvatron with the Matrix on a chain around his neck before. I think I've actually seen a Galvatron toy like probably. That. I remember. Did, didn't they have the little tiny chest openings where you could put stuff in some of the Transformers? Well, um, that was uh, Headmasters, yeah. I believe, or... No, not Headmasters, yeah, but I know what you're talking about. I mean... It was like a little flip-down that... piece of plastic. Like, you could flip it down, and then you could... It was just a tiny little space. We used to take BBs and throw them in there and pretend they were Matrixes. Smack it um, up, flip it, rub it down. Whoa, no, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the Belle so... Belle Bim DeVoe. <laughs> 
Uh, I know, you know. Uh, Optimus Prime, the original one, his, his, the front of his, like, his windows popped down, so you could okay. put his fist, his fist in there. Oh, okay. But, and so yeah, did Ultra Magnus. One. Yeah. All I right, never had a whole lot of Transformers when I was a kid, so uh, usually it was me heading over to my buddy's house, and yeah, they I were little... had, like, every single one of them. I had, a, yeah. I had, I had like, a handful of mixed match ones. But, uh, yeah. yeah. So here it is. This is, I think this is nothing going to stand in our way right here. And here they go pulling a Superman Talking. 2 on him. <laughs> <laughs> to be fast and free and young. Oh, my God, Jesse. Oh, oh. When, we, when, we, when we review this, I am going to be a singing fiend. Oh, dude. I don't blame you at all. See, Cup ran over more of them than Hot Rod did. No, he didn't. <laughs> In one shot, he did. No. <laughs> yeah, he did. Cup's awesome. Yeah, it was after Hot Rod had to rebuild him. Make him Listen, he now he didn't build him better. He he even said that he look he rips the tail off this guy. <laughs> and he's a badass. Said, yes, <laughs> he's like boom. Your body part is now a weapon. Yeah, and, and Hot Rod's annihilating uh, dozens of them with his lasers. On he's his he's using the tail as a weapon. Look at this. I'm gonna rip cut him with it. Screw your <laughs> weapons, dude, your he, lasers. Dude, he just knocked out one. All those really teeth. Scared, <laughs> out of the rest of them. Look at that. Right. Oh. <laughs> But Cup is like just just pouncing their faces in with with the, another one's tail. Yeah, he's using it as a flag. Oh no! Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, These it's, guys coming in, they have no idea what they're going into. They have no clue. The soundtrack it's, sounds like it could be on heavy metal. Some of the songs it, do. It's if awesome. I could replace this song with anything to bring in the Dinobots, it would probably be the song goes to do do. <laughs> you got big that's not, very, to that. that's not nearly as effective as nothing's going to stand in our way true <laughs> but when you got a bunch of guys who don't know what they're doing and they're just idiots you're walking in they're like do, 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 do. i i think they're doing a bang up job right here look grimlock's grimlock's about to do uh the roar from the lion guard and scare the rest of the shark <laughs> What's the lion from the Lion Guard's name, Jonas? Um, is it Kion? Kion. Right. What does Kion say? What's his roar sound like? Whoa! Nice Jonas. job, Jonas. <laughs> okay, I just wanted to let everyone know that my six-year-old fell asleep at least a half an hour ago. My three-year-old's oh, okay. still going. <laughs> nice. Get the three-year-old energy. Yeah, it does. I think it's funny that I think it's funny that the uh, Sharks calls one nothing more to do the Grim Lock. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Grimlock. wait a minute. Is well, oh, the uh, the annoying one? Why did I forget its name? Wheelie. 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 Is Wheelie a boy or a girl Autobot? Why does it matter? Boy, I haven't yes. given that a whole lot of thought. Yes, it doesn't <laughs> matter. It's just a question. Okay, I'm first not all, like first of all, it's anyone. a boy. It was Grimlock said so when he said, "Why did boy hit my nose?" Uh, Grimlock. Grimlock also is an idiot, and he trust doesn't know the where dinosaur's he's opinion. Yeah, pretty sure only the only girl transformer in the universe is RC. He has and here. Oh, hey, the, Weird Al. Yeah, nice yeah. Weird Al. Be, now, do you guys know why does he have gun nipples? Before, <laughs> <laughs> why don't you? That's all. Um, that's all. Eric Idle from Monty Python. Oh, do you guys know of... where Dare to Be Stupid originated from? What Weird Al album? Uh, Dare to Be Stupid. Very good. Which Thank you. What Madonna, which featured what Madonna parody? Featuring uh, was like it like a, like like a surgeon? surgeon? Very good, guys. Yeah, I think I did. A, we did like, a retrospective. Like a surgeon. Sir. <laughs> yes, that was one of our Christmas episodes with the Metal Hammer of Doom. That's right. So and they just like, put themselves okay. back together again. And they oh, train. So they, they, they they just swap spots. Perceptor, just perceptor. Percept. The dead here. Quick, Perceptor, turn into a two-story. <laughs> That's intimidating. <laughs> microscope. Confuse them. Why does anybody need a two-story microscope? Wow, we're getting shot. Because his... Yeah, the, uh, this was awesome right here. Yeah, the sword. Axe versus sword. Yeah. Now, Springer, uh, was, cool, like Springer was always cool Prime because man. he... Springer was always cool because he could turn into two different things. Yeah. Yeah, he was a like triple changer. Yes, sir. Oh, you're caught on the junk in the junk world. Gun nipples. 
gun Use nipples. Your gun nipples. <laughs> Stop. Stop it, sir. <laughs> and look, scary. there's the hero of our film, Daniel. Oh, six, six yeah. foot arm guy. Daniel could have stabbed him, but instead he hit him. Well, he's not a murderer. He's a child. Don't be a sicko. He's useless. <laughs> and, and this ship just drills right into the plane to land. I love that. I love that that concept as a kid. I was like, that's the is it, best that's the best way for a ship to take off ever. And land. Well, is it really a planet though? It looks like just a giant strip of crap in space. <laughs> it's their planet. And it's a giant strip of crap. It's not a Well, home. yeah, but it's their I mean, listen. It's their planet. They call it home. Gun nipples. And it's like, it's like, is that a, is that a ship? Well, you know the Got drill. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you realize I'm going to yell that every time I see him, right? Uh, <laughs> all right, so got so, nipples. So, so snack crotch. Don't poke his eye gun, out. So, if, so snack crotch just offered gun nipples. <laughs> <laughs> a tasty yum yum. <laughs> What's up with the dude in the back with the tire in his chest? Now they're. Now they're doing the Ewok celebration from Return of the Dead. Yeah. <laughs> they're doing yub yub. 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 Yub same my new band. <laughs> yeah. That's very cold on this planet. <laughs> new, new band name, call it. Check out that goatee, man. Oh, gun nipples. You've got, got the Genghis Khan going on there. Uh, from Dallas, Texas, we are gun nipples. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gun nipples. Um, <laughs> uh, hey, no, they're going to put Ultra Magnus back together again because he hasn't lost his soul yet. Right, and he's got all these cuts and scratches and everything. But whatever goop that they put on him just shines him right up. Gun nipples. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> it, it's, wow, that's really distracting. <laughs> Why is it distracting to you? I don't know. He's got guns where his nipples should be. <laughs> when, okay. And he didn't even have nipples. He's a transformer. I'm glad they got these, what are they called, junkticons to figure out just to, like, put everything back in its place. They couldn't figure that crap out with Ultra Magnus, huh? If they had only his arm back in his arm socket. If they had nipples. only gotten Optimus Prime to the planet. Why? And this does bring up an interesting question. So like, nipples. They couldn't, they couldn't <laughs> figure out how to cure Optimus Prime from his gre- egregious wounds. But the Junkticons, or the, the, the Junkions, it's, could put it's gotta be the goop, back dude. together. It's, the, it's the goop. It's the goop. They put the goop on you. Oh. You're ready to go. This <laughs> is the worst ship ever, though. This is the best ship ever. They just hit a button, and part of the planet becomes a spaceship. Fantastic. It's not a planet. It's, a, <laughs> it's, it's not a planet. It's a strip of crap out in space. <laughs> You're absolutely right. Thank you, Mortimer. <laughs> oh, wow. That's some high-tech that, that animation was, there. Yeah, that was... Uh, <laughs> loop, 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 loop. That was, we are way over budget. We use some... <laughs> <laughs> we need to make it look like oh, there's a lot of people going to this ship. No oh, problem. well... Who will never reappear in this movie, by the way. <laughs> no, yeah, they're just gone. It's like it's like the junkyards just took a wrong turn. They're like, where are we? <laughs> like, hey, how did we end up over here? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Flavor Rick, Flav here. Yeah, yeah. Rick Gar was the only, <laughs> only one they made a toy of. <laughs> well, they all look the same, man. <laughs> a, a Galvatron's trying to betray uh, Unicron here. Ro- they- Ronnie's being bodiced here. <laughs> bodiced. They all look the same. <laughs> they all look the same. Okay, so oh. why does Unicron? I understand it's the conclusion of the movie, and we have to have we have to do something different. It's act to, three, know, man. Yeah, this is the, this is the act three. You know, we're at the lowest point in in for our heroes, whatever. And I I understand plot structurally why they would make Unicron transform. But, like, he can absorb planets in his planet form. There's no in-movie explanation for why this transformation is happening. Yeah. Because the movie is called Transformers. Again, and just to, see, no. to see a planet change into a person, that gives you a sense of scale, I guess. See, considering 
No, in about five seconds, he's going to be about six feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> See, Cyber, Cybertron, turns, seem... Cybertron turns into Primus. Yes. Is what he turns into. And not in this movie, he doesn't. This movie, he's about to get his shit beat in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. This, this seems and, ineffective. Of course. This, would wreak, this also would wreak havoc Shockwave. with the gravity... And everything on a planet. <laughs> <laughs> they, of course, at this time, the Decepticons actually were in charge of Cybertron. <laughs> so they had there's, a, there's a giant hand entering, entering our orbit. What and do we there's, do? <laughs> there's what's left of Season 2 being eaten up by Unicron. <laughs> oh, hey, yo, you know, why not, right? The Alvatron. We're gonna he eat just him like a flicks pill. him off. Yeah, down, down the hatch, Galvatron. Okay, help me out here with the plot. Unicron was responsible for changing him into Galvatron, right? Correct. Yes. Okay, for what purpose again? To get the Matrix of Leadership. So he's got it now, and then so Unicron so doesn't going, care. He's just gonna ingest him. No. Uh, Gal- uh, Galvatron betrayed Unicron and tried to kill him with the Matrix of Leadership. I, I don't oh, think okay, I got you. I think ultimately Unicron wanted the Matrix of Leadership out of the hands of the Autobots because it's the only thing they could use against him. Right. Say it, right. buddy. Gun nipples. <laughs> um, <laughs> there they are. I forgot. They do kind of Man, that, you, that Galvatron must have been some uh, bad food there, huh? Uh, He's, and well, boom, I mean, there's money in your eye. Transformers are breathing oh! fire. Again, your eye. Oh, that's what happens when you play with sharp objects. <laughs> you go and slap a well, planet, you oof. better be ready to get your shit in it, kicked in there for a few. Something's Please. coming at your face. There's ship in your yeah. eye. <laughs> 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 yeah. And there's Daniel looking confused a few hit seconds ago. That's nothing new. <laughs> what is? Uh, Hang on, can we can we just take a minute to appreciate the song? This is Dare. And to keep all your dreams alive. Second time they've used this song too. Yep, more more, there, more effective here, I think. There yeah. is something structurally wrong with Galvatron because the others fell exactly where Hot Rod fell, but ran away. He fell through another hole. Yeah, it's like it's it's like Bespin. You know, the, the, all the various holes Luke fell down before he finally you know ended up on I, the uh, the weather vane. I guess so. Actually, it was like Cloud City. Cloud City was orbiting Bespin. Oh, snap. You've had the lick here, Hot Rod. What? <laughs> flame or flame? <laughs> <laughs> so, Unicron, so Galvatron, once again, because he's a dummy, tried to betray Unicron, and Unicron's like, no, 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 this is the one that could kill me. Kill him. Kill it. <laughs> kill him with fire. Yeah, I just... Okay. <laughs> I love this movie so much. <laughs> I, I don't know why I'm picking it apart, but it's just I'm I'm in my 30s and I'm watching Transformers the movie. The cartoon. What better way? <laughs> I love what it. What better way to spend your Saturday night? That's right. I need a girlfriend. <laughs> I need a girlfriend. Well, well, let me make you feel better. We need Jeff content. Jesse and I both married, currently not with our wives. We're with you watching Grimlock about to take on a planet robot. That's right. Exactly. You know, they're ma- you're married. They're not going anywhere. You're married. <laughs> Slap it. Slap, Slap it. I'll say my, Slap it with your my, tail. My girlfriend's behind me watching stuff on YouTube. So. <laughs> you I mean, go. you're right. She's not going anywhere. What are we going I'm to do not here? going anywhere. <laughs> Logan's not going anywhere. Find a girl that's willing to tolerate you watching Transformers on a Saturday night. Yeah, well. Is Logan watching it? Oh, God, no. Ah, 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 die. Die. (laughs) Daniel. (laughs) Die. Stop cheering for child death. It's horrible. I don't cheer for all children. Why are you holding your pistol like that, young lady? But anyway, I don't cheer for all. Uh, where did the water come from in a robot? Well, that's his blood. See? Well, that's he's water. a robot. But anyway, I'm not cheering for child death. I just want Daniel, the the, the annoying child, <laughs> the annoying in this child. movie, 
to go away. You wish he would stay with Blaster? No, I wish he would have been shot off the mountain in the beginning of the movie. <laughs> and, we're gonna, and now we're going to kill more season one Transformers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Oh, the, yeah, wait, right, there was right a, the named one, a named one. Those were uh, Decepticons, weren't they? Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, oh, that's, that's gruesome. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're back to uh, genocide it's, here. It, and somehow they're still alive. <laughs> this was a very intense scene. I know you're worthless, son, but give it a try. <laughs> I, I mean, we didn't know if, if Spike was going to make it or not, or he was going to fall in the acid. And he, right behind him was Bumblebee. Well, how tragic. Jet elbows. Oh, my gosh, my arms! <laughs> <laughs> it hurts so bad! <laughs> Why is so, it doing this to me? <laughs> All right, so he saves Dan. So he saves Spike here. And by extension, he saves Jazz, Cliff Jumper, and Bumblebee. There were more Transformers behind them. Are they now stuck in the thing? <laughs> no, they, they didn't have the wherewithal to actually land on the on the lid that's shut. They just went on in the acid. Are they the all trapped? <laughs> Are they all trapped and they're going, wait, rescue us. They're like, sorry, you're not recognizable. <laughs> Daniel has only got so much good in him, so he, he'll probably just screw it up. So you guys are probably safer right there. <laughs> I'll say if you look close up, the one behind was just another Bumblebee clone. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes. I can imagine the dialogue I would have written with it, like Spike looks back at Bumblebee and says, Bumblebee, Daniel's here to save us. Ah, crap, we're dead. <laughs> Hot Rod, his name is Hot Rod. Yeah, my son's cheering for Hot Rod right now. Oh, oh wow. That's, that's, oh, well, that's, good. That's good. That's Galvatron. There's Black a hot rod toy at my local Target, and so there'll probably be one at your local Target, Mark. You should pick one up for him. All right, well, maybe we'll do that. Keep it in the box. Christmas is coming. Nope. <laughs> Toys are flying you, with. And you pick one up that, for yourself, sir. Did you check out that website link I sent you, uh, Ronnie? Uh, about uh, uh, yes, I want that, but I don't want to pay that kind of money. Does that mean all the junkians got killed? Yep, pretty sure that's. I, I now am I mistaken? That's why we never saw the Junkions again. They yeah, just it. It just got crushed. Well, that sucks. Poor Eric. All right, here's what ha- look at what well, look at what happens here, Joe. Here's about see. Oh, my only, my only problem with this because it's awesome in the movie, but really, this movie was here to sell toys. Let's not let's not. Oh us. yeah, and like the Hot Rod Transformer was dope, but the Rodimus Prime Transformer sucked. Was. Junk. I hated that thing. It was, oh, it was, hot, it was hot garbage. Reflection. <laughs> but he shot you in the hand. This is the end of the road, Galvatron. Pretty, I'm pretty much now. Let's say pretty much he became like a van kind deal. Yeah. <laughs> what, is, what is it with the 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 primes of picking up people by their head? <laughs> No, Rod, op, Hot Rod, who's now becoming Rodimus Prime, is now the it's size fingers of fingers in before. <laughs> and we open it. Oh, bless and you, going to light our darkest hour. Never in enough. In brightest day, in darkest night, no evil <laughs> shall escape us. Oh, wait, sorry. Wrong, wrong franchise. Wrong no, franchise. right. Now we need Transformers versus the Green Lantern's corpse. <laughs> yeah, oh, that would be amazing. That's probably going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> Disco ball of death. Oh my god, his nipples are exploding. <laughs> there they go. Uh-huh. Oh, my nipples. They're so so he, he just did. ripped his leg off. Yeah, he did. He's like, oh, my leg hurts so bad. Get it off me. <laughs> no, his leg exploded. Uh, didn't read and rip I it know. off. It just, it, just, it just rocketed off. It looked like he ripped it off. He's trying bit, to keep so. it together. No, I'm there to my leg. Okay, come back, leg. <laughs> And look, it's the only three Transformers anyone gives a shit about. <laughs> RC, Springer, and Cut. Oh, Cliff Jumper, <laughs> Jazz, and oh, yeah, Bumblebee. That's... And here comes Rodimus Prime, who only looks at There's Daniel. The he was enjoying his lunch, then he took an explosion Why to the knee. so angry? <laughs> why do, so here's the question. Why did, why did he have Skyrim. to become a van? Why, could, why, as a Prime, could he just not stay a, big, a, a just maybe like a bigger hot rod? Is or at least a El Camino, or... huh? An El Camino. There you go. <laughs> and, two, bug. and two Volkswagen bugs. <laughs> Are they really expecting those bu- Volkswagen bugs to keep up? <laughs> oh, my other eye. There goes his other eye. 
Why would you do this to me? <laughs> this guy gets messed up. He's like, I picked the wrong fight. <laughs> I, I just wanted love. If he had stayed a planet, he'd have devoured Cybertron by now. Do you think oh. Orson Welles knew anything that he was saying in this entire thing? No. Like, oh, he, doesn't doesn't this the head? Sir Alex Guinness thing in Star Wars, where he was just reading dialogue and had no idea what the fuck he was reading. Does it, the head of Unicron come back later in the series? Yes. They okay. Yeah, I remember that. The head now. of Unicron tries to, tries to get one of the Decepticons to attach his head to Cybertron. Okay. <laughs> This was kind of a cheap, quick ending, too. I didn't like that. Are we near the end? This is, this the, is end. the end. Are you kidding yeah, me? Hot Rod, Hot yeah, Rod just this is the end. Cybertronian Wars, seeing Stay tuned as, next week. Seeing as a genocide has just been perpetrated on Cybertron. He's like, well, <laughs> well we're wow. not at war anymore. There aren't enough of us. <laughs> he just stands up. Well, we're, they're all dead, so. Oh, there he goes. Uh, we live in peace. Declare, wow. I declare the Autobots the winners of the Cybertronian Wars. Thank you, John. <laughs> There's one Decepticon in the back going, but wait. And they're like, no, no. Shh. Normal Den. <laughs> Normal Den. Michael Bell did Prowl, Scrapper, Swoop, and a Junkion. Grim wow. Michael, Greg Berger. Yep, so Scatman Brothers was Jazz. Ironhide and, and Optimus well. Prime was Peter Cullen. Ironhide, who actually turned around with went. Buster James, ah. Blaster. Yep. Domestic was Gears. Robert Stack was Ultra Magnus. Lionel Standard was Cup. Frank Welker was a lot of a lot of characters. A lot of people. Yep. He was Wheelie. Oh man. <laughs> oh. Why well, Frank Welker? The, uh, such a great soundtrack. I can't it wait is, to talk dude. About this on Wednesday. It is going to be fun. I've like I said, I've listened to it three times. I've had it going today while the kids were in the. Colton was running around going Transformers. I was like, "Yeah, that's right, buddy." Yeah, <laughs> I don't know whatever happened to any of those bands, but Lion, Spectre General, DRG, all of them, just fantastic. The only one that ever really made anything of themselves after this was uh, was Weird Al. Yeah, uh, he, he had was here before this. Yeah, I was going to say he was. Yeah, he was NRG. early. It was early in his career, but. You know what NRG is? It's energy. No. Energy. (laughs) Energy. Hunger. (laughs) I want it so bad. It's like Flow Rider is from Florida. (laughs) So he's Flow Rider. Flow Rider. Florida. The Decepticons. It took me a while to put those two together. Did it now? It really did. Okay. I'm actually an intelligent human being, but that one took me a little bit. (laughs) Uh, you guys know that 30 years ago when I was in the theater watching this, I had the option to either go watch this or Howard the Duck. I'm I'm glad I chose this. I'm too. You made the you right seen, choice. You would have seen duck boobies. Uh, I would have. I would have. Duck boobs. <laughs> Although I can tell you I've watched Howard the Duck way more than this show. <laughs> Oh. Way more, way more. Yeah, I've probably watched it. Like when it, it got life, released on HBO, dude, I watched it. I watched Howard the Duck over and over. Did you just watch the Duck you... Boobs? Uh, <laughs> Leah Thompson. I consider you a dear, dear friend <laughs> whom I've lost respect for because you told me you've watched Howard the Duck more than once. Ah, uh, what was Howard? It was Howard the Duck owns like a distinction for something. It's like one of the first. Well, let's say first. It's not. It wasn't one of the first Marvel movies. Yeah, I don't sure. know. I mean, I know it, Howard the Duck was a Marvel property, so get off your sister. There was other. There were other Marvel movies before that, right? Well, yeah. I mean, there was other Marvel. Hold on, you got a name. Action, them. Yeah, made the, there's, there's made for TV movies. You got to yeah, name like, a name a theatrical yeah. release. An Incredible Hulk. <laughs> But that was okay. not a theatrical release. My my son's getting upset that he can't say anything. What do you want to say, Jonas? Okay. I think good good for wasting that amount of time. Thank you. <laughs> Make your dad do more of that. Have him stop the podcast and then just be completely quiet at least another five <laughs> times. <laughs> what did you just send me, Justin? Justin that would be the uh, Shout Factory link. Uh, what is you that can for? actually purchase the Armada and all those on there. They're probably they're probably not appropriate for my son, who would be the only person I would buy them for. But thank you. I'll, I'll hang on to that link when he's old enough for those toys. 
<laughs> Wait a second. Days, How's uh, he going to be old enough? What, what age are we Toys that are meant for children. Um, eight, <laughs> seven, eight, nine. When he, okay. when he can transform a transformer by himself without having to ask me to do it. Oh, it's like less aggravation. <laughs> Dude, my Easter ruined because my because I, on my advice, I told my wife to get him a Grimlock toy. He loved Grimlock. And he was just like, every two seconds, will you transform again? Tran- now to make him a robot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was going to I was gonna say those actually did appear on Cartoon Network back in the day, so they are made for children. Uh, well, no, I think what he's saying is that it, he doesn't want to give him this early in his life because it's aggravating. But, <laughs> and I can totally identify with that. Trust you me. My gosh. Yeah. So again, eight, nine, when he can manipulate a transformer by himself without me having to get involved, then I'll think about getting him these the, other characters that you're talking about. Characters and events in this motion picture or fictional and have no relation to any real person's living or dead. Or physics. <laughs> <laughs> or physics. <laughs> it's a DEG release. We have reached the end. I was going to say, they also, I was looking at this website, they also had the Japanese releases also. After credit scene? Like uh, Transformers Headmasters and all that. I had one Headmaster. I had whoever the tank was. Well, guys, we made it through an hour and 29 minutes of Transformers the movie. And like I said, that's the first time I've watched it in 30 freaking years. Okay, next up, The Last Unicorn. I want to scare the shit out of my children. Huh. (laughs) (laughs) All right. So the very first cinematic release, uh, but it was known as Timely Comics then, was 1944 Captain America. 15 chapters serial film. And then after that, was 1986 Howard the Duck. Okay. Oh, so, so, okay. So, so it, was, it was 1944, and then we had 40 years in between. Of course, mm-hmm. just like you said, it was timely back then. It wasn't Marvel. Mm-hmm. This was right before it became Marvel. Actually, I think Marvel yeah, so showed up in the 50s or 60s. Go ahead. They said, hey, it's been 40 years since we've seen a Marvel <laughs> comic in the theaters. Why not kick it off with Howard the Mother Freaking Duck? <laughs> <laughs> I hurt. Yes. And you know, then after uh, that was uh, the Punisher with Dolph Lundgren. Dolph Lundgren. Yeah. That's a and good. Then, that, hey, that's a that's a good property to put on the film, in my opinion. It just wasn't done well. But that was right. direct video. I'm so sorry. All right. Well, what was? Let's, let's close this out here. Let's go around the table, and then we'll do plugs, and then we'll we'll get out. So, in all honesty, uh, Justin, what are, what are your closing thoughts here after rewatching Transformers the movie and doing commentary on it? This movie just never, never gets old to me. I mean, I've watched it back when I was a child. I've watched it just numerous times over the years, and it just never ages badly. To me, it doesn't. No, I, I agree with you. It's this has got this is one of the reasons why I bought it. This has got high rewatchability. You know, there are certain movies where I watch them once, and it's like, well, I don't ever seem to see that again. And then movies like this where I never get tired of watching it. Do you think that, Mark, do you think that somebody would have to know a lot about the franchise to enjoy this movie? Well, let me ask somebody who knows nothing about the franchise. Jonas, what did you think of the movie we just watched? Oh, good. Okay. Was Was it one that you would want to watch again? Okay, well, that from the voice of a three-year-old. Can't argue with that. Can't argue with that. Um, okay, well, let's, let's go from three-year-old to Ronnie now. Ronnie, what did you uh, think of the movie? <laughs> I feel like that was a dig at me for some reason. But <laughs> let's um, go to the Cup fan. I, because he's awesome. Listen, um, I've tried to relive my childhood with these, you know, through Netflix and things like that. With uh, well, just mainly Netflix. Uh, with watching the first uh, se- season of Transformers and G.I. Joe, and I decided I should have just left those alone uh, because <laughs> they did not live up to what I remember yeah. as a child. This is one of the very few things as a child that I remember that actually I can still enjoy today and not go, oh, gosh, what have I done to my childhood? Um, it holds up. The animation is beautiful. Well, there, you know, it, there was some aspects of it where, you know, is like the Junkians, where it's loop, 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 but but the animation still is beautiful. Uh, 
uh, it, the action, the, the, <laughs> I hate to say it, but it had a lot of uh, emotional parts, too. Um, you know, I, I said that Daniel was annoying. Like, if it was just a cartoon, you know, and not just not a cinematic release, I wouldn't have gotten that involved in the characters or thought they were characters at all. I wouldn't have cared. Mm-hmm. I would have found it all annoying. You know, so I, I love it. I think um, it, it's and just like Mark. This was actually a gift. Um, and it was one of my favorite gifts I've, you know, I've received from a friend because I can sit down and watch this anytime. Okay. Jesse, 30 years later, I still feel that, that heartache that occurs when Optimus Prime, as his eyes slowly flash and then he turns to gray, it's, it's sad. Oh yeah. It's sad. Let me ask you a question, Captain Overdramatic. Now you've watched this. You've watched this with us. Um, you, you, we watched it too late for you to involve your children. Are you going to play it for tomorrow? Are you going to wake up tomorrow and play it again for him? Oh, I, I, I give you the honest opinion. I don't think my kids would be able to sit through this unless really? I made them ten, fifteen minutes tops, and then. Like I said, okay. it's. I, I understand why the tween daughter might not care. It's like it's boy stuff, it's robots. I guess. Yeah. The boys? Yeah. You, you have a seven year old and a three year old. They wouldn't sit down and watch this? I don't think they would, dude. And I, I think a lot of it is because they have no investment in who these characters are. I mean, you just sit down and you see Optimus Prime. And I, I remember as a kid when I went to watch the movie, I was familiar with the franchise. And was, I was confused as hell. I was really confused. Right. So, so let's start. Let's start again. When are you going to sit down and make them watch season one of Transformers? <laughs> <laughs> Don't watch it with them because your childhood will be destroyed. Uh... I have to agree with Ronnie. I actually watched uh, when I saw that it was on Netflix like a while back. I saw. Uh, I started watching the first season of Transformers. Like this has not held up well. Mm. Yeah, the only cool part in the whole first season of the Transformers is like in the first first or second episode. Uh, Optimus Prime and Megatron fight on a dam. Yeah. And uh, they create Energon weapons and yeah, they out of their, the uh, sword. Yeah, out of their No, it was uh it was a battle axe and a mace. That's right. Okay. Right. Yeah. So the axe and the sword just happened. I have a <laughs> energy I have an actual uh, anniversary edition prime that actually it has the Ener- Energon axe. Yes. Oh, that's so cool. That's awesome. Right. Well, yeah, but- I'm does it hold up? I mean, I, I enjoyed the movie. I loved watching it with you guys. If I'm going to, if I asked my kids if they wanted to sit down and watch it, I don't know if they would give it a full shot just because, like I said, it's it's tough to get back into or be thrown into these characters. And I honestly think the emotional weight of Prime dying, would, I don't think that would hold up very well with the, with the kids who don't know who that is. Yeah, but, but I mean, look at the way the movie is paced. It opens with planet destruction. Five minutes later, Megatron's murdering Autobots at will. Yeah, and it, some and of that it, stuff is crazy. Epic battle sequence that ends with Optimus Prime dying. And then we go right into a space chase. There's not a lot of downtime in the 89 minutes of this movie. It's a lot of action. Also, one huge plus for this movie, Cup. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was hoping for gun nipples. <laughs> And gun nipples. Gun nipples. But you might have a little bit of a biology class coming through, you know, Yeah. He, after he, that. Questions. Questions. This did not do well in theaters the first time Ooh. it was released. If they had called the Transformers the gun nipples, I think it would have gotten better. <laughs> <laughs> i tell you what. I remember there, being a kid. You would have had a battle. Hold on. You would have had a battle between duck boobies and gun nipples. <laughs> <laughs> duck boobies and gun nipples. That would have been a double feature. <laughs> 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 I I uh I remember watching this in the theater as a kid and loving it so much that uh, we had a Betamax when you know in in about 86 a Betamax player. Oh yeah. And uh, uh I remember my dad and my mom you know going down to the local movie place and renting Betamax and then then slowly seeing v- VHS you know come come into play and all that. So you still had you know just like you had your DVD and your VHS back in the day and, you know, Blockbuster or whatever, you had Betamax and VHS. So we go down the, the Betamax aisle 
and uh, and he'd always ask me, you know, they, they're renting a movie. What do what do I want to watch? This was it, man. I wore their copy of Transformers the movie out. He's like, nice. do you want another movie? He's like, I was like, no, I want to watch this. And he's like, all right. And finally, it got to where to the point of where Dad just came home with a copy of the Betamax, a right. Betamax copy of Transformers the movie. He said, just watch it. Hey Jesse, I know what your what your counter argument is, but I'm telling you, get your two sons sit down and watch this movie, and at least see where they see if they'll make it through the whole thing, or see where they like give up. Okay, and report back to me. I will. I will do that. It's Transformers Week. I'll. I will gladly do that one for the network. All right. Um, my, quickly, it's this is one of my favorite movies of all time. As much as I was picking on it, um, you know, because I mean, look, there's it's it's not. 100% flawless. There's obviously problems here and there, but it's also a kids. It's also an 89 minute kids cartoon that was, for all intents and purposes, made to reinvent the toy line with these, you know, with the, with these new Transformers, and they did, and it led to a third season of, this, of the cartoon where even more were introduced, and it was fun. I remember, I remember that being fun as a kid to see the new storylines, you know, the Ghost of Starscream and the Head of Unicron and the Crotch of Cup. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the whole the whole nine yards the return of optimus prime uh because they understood that that was a terrible terrible mistake to kill him off oh my gosh no fan reaction was the exact opposite of jason todd it was like how dare you um <laughs> jason todd, they're like oh good <laughs> <laughs> yeah jason todd they called for wholesale murder optimus prime they were like we'll burn the studio down get it bring him back yeah, exactly. Well, they call for wholesale murder, but it was of the studio executives and producers and toy makers. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we, very angry children back in the eighties. In any case, um, like I said, I I really enjoy this movie. I love the music to it. Uh, it's one of those ones I watch again. And as far as commentaries go on the Rattle and Broadcasting Network, I couldn't think of a better one to do uh, than this one. Um, I mean, it's it's hard when you produce as much content as we do, where we tear things to shreds, like on trial, just to try to find something that I can watch and take a fresh take on and not be re- repeat content. But um, that is the name of the game, is to try to bring you some new stuff, some new ideas, some new angles on uh, on previously viewed content uh, when it when it uh, when it appears. And that's actually what we're going to do the next time we do one of these commentaries. Jesse and I were talking about it. It's going to be the Starcher family and the Rattlers family doing commentary on Moana. When that's going to happen, I can't tell you. I'll have to get it, we'll have to get it scheduled. But I think um, among other commentaries we might want to do, we definitely thought of doing a, a family one with, uh, with Moana. We thought that would be appropriate. Um, so now I've spoken with Jesse on that. Uh, <laughs> as happens all the time. <laughs> you do as I say, Starcher. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm down for that. It'll be a lot of fun. Um, all right. So Transformers Week consists of the rebroadcast of the Age of Extinction review between myself and Robert Winfrey, which isn't as screamy as I remembered. I, I just listened to it back again uh, yesterday and today, and I was like, huh, I keep advertising as the most yellingest review ever. And we've I, we've been worse. I think I yelled at him more on the Deadpool one. Um, I just We just went on forever debating that movie. But uh, it was actually more civil than I than I've sold it. So give it a listen. It was, excuse me. It's a still a, a very fun review, um, and you definitely get two different perspectives. I don't think Winfrey could have hated it more, and I loved Age of Extinction. I, and now having seen the last night spoilers, I well, I definitely like it better than the last night. But um, <laughs> I'll get to that in a moment. Uh, we got source material revolution. We discussed uh, that's going to be on the network. Damn you, Hollywood. Uh, review of Transformers The Last Night. The Metal Hammer of Doom is weighing in with our review of this movie soundtrack, which is going to be more 90 minutes of me and Jesse Pantsless just in ecstasy. <laughs> it's going to be fantastic. There's not a bad song on that soundtrack. It's the exact opposite of Nickelback. I wouldn't even give you a penny back. Ah, amen. <laughs> And um, screaming, screaming boys going to have cup and crotches, right? <laughs> cup and crotches. Get there. Uh, Thursday, <laughs> the the Lorax. He speaks for the trees. He's connected to the green, Mister Ronnie Adams. Uh, he will be he will be on TV party tonight to discuss Transformers Prime, uh, brought to you by the good people who brought you the Michael Bay movies. 
Uh, we'll be discussing season one. It's actually not a bad show. I'm, I'm enjoying yeah. it. Uh, and then finally, what, what is there left to say? The anchor, the caboose, the spiritual heart of the Rattlers and Broadcasting Network, the Ronnie... Ronnie Adams' Screaming Boy podcast is going to discuss Cup's Crotch for 90 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> crotch goodies! You know, all the oh. snacks and goodies that, that come from the crotch. You act like we can't do it. <laughs> oh, man. So all things Transformers, including crotches, brought to you by the Screaming Boy. You and act gun like nipples. we can't do it. Gun nipples. And gun nipples. <laughs> gun nipples, cups, and crotches. Please name that your show. I did, I did not see Transformers Week going that way in any way, shape, or form, but wow. I Buddy, did. I've been at this for how many years now? I, I saw it going every sure, bit that way. Just make sure what I see on Friday morning when the Rattle and Broadcasting Network updates its, uh, its podcast, I see Screaming Boy. Crotches and gun nipples. <laughs> Cups, crotches, and gun nipples. That's fine. Wow. Just make sure you got gun nipples in there. Um, and crotches. I will not disappoint you, sir. Thank you. You follow orders very well. Um, okay. All right. That's that's all for my plugs, uh, other than check out what's in the archives. We've got uh, a review of Nickelback, <laughs> which people are enjoying that one just because we tore that album to shreds. <laughs> We got, back. we got source material, Poison Ivy, the uh, the cycle of life and death. And um, we did a review. No, we did a TV. What the fuck did we do? What did we do this past <laughs> week on Tuesday? Uh, I, I believe it was a TV party. No. What, what we, no, <clears throat> I'm sorry. We reviewed Cars 3. Duh. The MU Hollywood re- review of Cars 3. So that's what's in the archives. Okay. Jesse. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, go give that Rattle Legend Broadcasting Facebook page a like to stay up on top of all the overdramatic fun stuff that we post on there. I want to thank everybody that's been out there and, and joined us tonight. Uh, you can follow me at Stiznarkey on Twitter and at SourceMatCast is the show's Twitter. What's Jonas got to say? Jonas, what do you have to say? Plug something. Plug something, Joe. No, don't punch me in the arm. Punch something, Joe. <laughs> no, don't. No, they want. Do you have something that you'd like to advertise? Do you have a? Do you have a? Do you have a, blo- a blog or a podcast or a video cast or something? What should we watch next? Should- uh, data. You gonna plug data? Yeah. Do you love your data? Yeah. All right. Data from Star Trek. All right. What do you want to? What do you want to watch next? <laughs> what movie do you want to watch next? No, don't touch the telephone. What do you want to? What movie do you want to watch next? You want to watch Lego Batman? You want to watch Moana? What do you want to watch? All right, yeah, that's plugging, he's plugging Lego Batman, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice, nice. All right, yeah, that, so that's me uh, at Stiznarkey on Twitter at Source Matt Cast, and you can check out this YouTube channel here as well. Now I'm gonna switch it over to Justin Thomas. Justin Thomas, go ahead and plug something, man. Wait, wait, where can we find you? Well, basically, I'm a gamer, so you can find me on Steam. You can find me on the PlayStation Network. And those are both under Spectre 13. You can also find me under Arctic Lightning on Xbox Live. And pretty much Justin Thomas on Facebook. And Spectre 13 under Twitch, Twitter, Instagram. You name it, I'm there. I swear if you spam me, I will hunt you down and hashtag drive by. <laughs> you almost had a hashtag right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hashtag drive by. Uh, all right. Awesome. All right. So it, that's uh, Ronnie Adams over there. Speaks for the trees. Plug some stuff for Screaming Boy. Let us where, know where to where, find you. Where, 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 it's never going to end. Nope. No. I'm not the one. <laughs> Emphatically, no. <laughs> you argued with me once. You are forever branded. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how it's that got started. The... I forgot already. You He's king I, of the trees. Like... It's a tree meister. Okay, so at one point during the when you were looking at the DC Hanna Barbera things, you were like, "Why does why do they have to change things? Why does my child did it have to be corrupted?" And I screamed at you oh, for yeah. not wanting to move on and progress. Therefore, you became the Lorax who speaks for the trees. <laughs> there you go. I'm all about progression, but I don't want to see. Never mind. 
Oh, we do a little podcast called Screaming Boy Podcast, and it is uh, nerd culture slash pop culture kind of deal. Uh, we have uh, been off of iTunes and a few, uh, you know, uh, recorded episodes lately because we are experiencing some technical difficulties, but should be uh, very soon uh, corrected, and then. Uh, we also, Mr. Mark Radulich, uh, has been so kind to let us do live shows on Fridays. Uh, we have had a blast doing those. We had, um, Pirates Week. Uh, we, we did, we've done, what, what was the last one we did there, Jesse? Oh, you're asking the wrong guy. I have no idea. Okay, cool. Matt? So Saved we've done there, some really I? good episodes. <laughs> <clears throat> Swing keep talking. Miss, Starch. <laughs> Swing <and a> miss. <laughs> you keep talking. I'll find out. I just, I, just want, I just want to throw something in there. When you guys say Lorax, I just got this image of Ronnie picking up his, picking up himself by the hind end and then flirting into the sky. <laughs> <laughs> I quit. I'm out of here. <laughs> so anyway, but you're uh, welcome. We're going to, this uh, coming up uh, on Friday night. Uh, uh, I don't know what the date's going to be. I I don't know what today is. But anyway, uh, Transformers Week. We are going to uh, be talking about cups, crotches, and gun nipples. Mm. All things Transformers <laughs> and beyond. Uh, not really beyond. We're just going to talk to all things Transformers. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we'll probably talk a little bit about the cartoon, uh, maybe a little bit about this movie, and going into the new movies that uh, that Michael Bay has uh, pooped out. And that's the nicest way I can say it. <laughs> uh, it should it be more like explosive diarrhea? <laughs> Boom! Well, yeah. Ronnie, have you ever watched Rescue Bots? I've not watched Rescue Bots. Okay, my son <laughs> loves Rescue Bots, right, Joe? Yeah. Yeah, that's how I got him in the Transformers through Rescue Bots. Cool. Is it a Transformers franchise? That is a that is a cartoon meant for very young children. Uh, with so the that's... premise being that three three or four Autobots showed up on Earth and got a message from Prime says, "If you land on Earth, be nice to the humans and help them out." So one is a fire truck, one is a cop car, one is a helicopter, like some sort of like rescue helicopter, and I forget what the green one is. But um, they they literally like help a team of like medics and rescue workers and whatnot in various storylines so no execution style murders in this one <laughs> no no one's being murdered in the first five minutes of the cartoon. Okay. <laughs> all right Children. so good to know good to know it, it was dc so, movies and stuff ronnie june 9th yeah so we, me and you so, talk dc movies dc you, movies uh, yes before you do your your all things transformers check out an episode or two of the rescue box all right we probably won't do that all right. But, no, I'm kidding. We'll <laughs> definitely do that. But there's an interesting story behind the 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 Transformers of, of how they originated in Japan, and they still are. You know, they're called different things, uh, but it's it's really cool, uh, really cool little backstory on that stuff. So uh, we'll be getting into that. Uh, Justin, uh, you are more than welcome to come on that show because uh, we'll probably need you, brother. But to we'll talk about rescue bots. To talk about rescue bots, yes, Mark. <laughs> We're not talking about rescue bots, Justin. Screaming okay. boy slash TV party tonight. Rescue yeah, bots slash, season one. Slash uh, cups, <laughs> cups, crotches, crotches. gun nipples, <laughs> gun nipples. All right. I don't know uh, if the kids should tune on, in or not. <laughs> check us out on uh, Facebook. You can go in there and just search Screaming Boy Podcast. Give us a like. Uh, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Twitter is screaming at Screaming Boy PR. Instagram is Screaming Boy Podcast. Um, and that's pretty much it. If you yeah, need, if you have any questions for us or any ideas or anything like that, info at screamingboy.com. Hey, uh, I want to thank these guys for all coming on here uh, to talk Transformers, the movie. This was a lot of fun for a uh, first time. Please stop jumping over your sister. Um, <laughs> She's, she's dead Porter asleep. She does not want to be woke like, up like that. <laughs> but I like it. Sleep and he's like hurdling her. <laughs> um, and she's sleeping through it. That's even funnier. In any case, uh, the first time we've done an audio commentary like this, we've done audio commentaries for <laughs> UFC events. Those will be our live commentaries. This is our first movie commentary. We hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, we're going to try to do more of these. I know James Rocco, super fan of the Rattling Broadcasting Network, has been requesting movie commentaries for a long time. 
My wife and I have talked a bunch of times about doing one for Gone with the Wind. We just needed uh, sort of a way to figure out the time and then the format to do this because you can't do it on Blog Talk Radio. So now and you take a week off of <laughs> a week off so, of work to do it. <laughs> yeah. So I may have to rope you into that one, Jesse. Um, oh, jeez. <laughs> Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. <laughs> um, so I, well, Gone with the Wind is one of her favorite movies, but that, well, well, I can talk about that another time. In any case, um, these are definitely things I want to want to do more of. So look for them in the future. Another addition to the Ra- Rattle and Broadcasting Network uh, content. And with that said, I don't want to delay the ending of this any further. So for Ronnie Adams, who is the Lorax, he speaks for the trees and he's connected I to the brain. Do not. For ju- yes, you are. Um, for Justin Thomas. For the disapproving dad, Jesse Starcher. For the sleeping Lily and the wide awake Jonas. He's just, Jonas. He's uh, still uh, wide awake, but God, how does how does the line go? The Weezer line. They're still making. Um, Leave him hanging. Sounds, but he's still making noise. I think it is. Anyway, for my son who won't go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most awkward. <laughs> <laughs> we named him after the Weezer song My Name is Jonas and now I can't remember the lines to it. In any case, doesn't matter. For my son who should be who should have gone to sleep three hours ago and is still up. And he's playing with his nose. <laughs> Just, <laughs> say goodnight, Jonas. Good night, Jonas. Not you. You. Oh. You with a blank stare on your face. Say goodnight, oh Jonas. man. I think he's talking to you, Jesse. And you're never going to sleep. All right, very good. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I am Mark Radledge, a mandated reporter, and frankly, I'm mortified. Thank you for joining us tonight. Be well, be safe, and behave.